Hey everybody, I'm going to do a little comparison video today on a couple knives I picked up this last week. We got the Cold Steel Jack Rawls Voyager, and we got the Cold Steel Recon 1. They're very similar as far as just looking at them. Both humongous knives, both the five and a half inches of the CTS. XHP steel with the DLC coating that diamond like coating and as far as just the way they feel in hand I mean it's, it's pretty close as far as just the weight and the balance of course but there are some some differences some subtle some not so subtle on here you get the OD green, that same Grivex handle that you get on the other Voyagers. It's a little bit lighter, they got the aluminum lining in here. Of course they both got that super awesome Andrew Demko triad lock hidden inside there. Now, oddly enough, if you look in there, you don't see any liners. And still, you can see which one's heavier here. Probably because of the extra steel on the blade. I'll show you that in a second. This one's coming in at eh, 7.8. And this one's coming in at 8.08. .08 or so. Let's see what we got here. So, almost a third of an ounce difference. <laughs> nothing humongous, nothing life shattering you can't deal with. However, let's look at this blade here. Check out the blade comparison. Now, if you just look at them, take a quick glance, you're really not going to see the difference. But if you look at them like this, you can see how much thicker that recon blade is. That's probably where the extra weight comes from the actual steel and not the the liners or anything like that. Both got that stainless steel clip. Of course, talked about the Grivix. This has the G10, which uh, sands down nicely into a super sweet polished look. I got a buddy that did that to his. So, I do, for whatever reason, I like the thumb stud on this one. I don't like the pyramided thumb stud as much as I do just the straight up one. Now if this one, the size is, I, I think I like a little bit better, but this one is just straight up all the way, if you can see that. I think it just adds for a quicker opening. But I got chunky thumbs, so I don't know. It might just be my thumbs. Got these bigger thumbs, so it's not anything game changing, just noticing this one, may it's just broken in a little bit better, but it seems to open a little bit smoother. Uh, as far as the little layperson carrying either of these, this is definitely a conversation starter either way you go. People aren't going to, lay people aren't going to say, oh, I wonder, why don't you carry the recon if you're holding the Voyager? And if you're holding the recon, nobody's going to, of course, question you about the Voyager. The uh, difference is, like I said, just subtle. Of course, this has the half and half blade here, half serrated. But for somebody like me that's not going to go out in the woods or get into too many West Side Story rumbles, too many Eric Estrada crossing the switchblade type knife fights, you should be okay with either one of these. But here's the real difference. Unless you've got a real, real specialty for a special love for this recon, this is not a bad option. I mean, if you have, if you want a long bladed Tanto, Tonto, Kimasabi. If you want a long bladed Tonto from with the triad lock, and you're a little short on cash, this might be the one to get. You can pick this one up for about 70 bucks on Amazon. And this one, depending on which state you live in, is gonna cost you between 130 and 140. I lost the stake lottery, the state lottery this year, as far as 
taxes in the state, so I had to pay 140 for mine. Not that I'm complaining. It's still a great knife. I'm never gonna kill it or anything. But if, if you want something humongous, go with this one. If you you know if you want, you almost buy two of these. Buy this one and buy something else. Buy a Raja three, if you will. But either way, these are both really really cool knives. And actually, you're gonna have to hurry and get these because both of these are being discontinued by Cold Steel this year. So I don't know if that's gonna make it super hard to get or what, but they're not gonna be making either of these anymore. Now they are coming out with some other cool stuff, of course, so it's not gonna be too horrible. And there's always a secondary market, but if you want one straight away right now, without paying aftermarket prices or discontinued collector's item prices if that should ever happen just a just a forewarning that these are going to be discontinued so I think that's all I got blade thickness blade width all that's pretty similar it's got the ambidextrous clip on both of them tip tip up so it's good for lefties good for righties all right, like always, like, subscribe, leave a comment down there. Still trying to collect subscriptions, so if you got a buddy, and, or if you have any any uh, idea of what you want me to review next, or anything like that, just leave a comment, and I'll do that. But, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you all later.